Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to resolve the load library field error code 1114. So if you're attempting to launch a game or application, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this dynamic link library initialization routine failed error message. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in control panel. Best match should come back with control panel here. So go ahead and left click on that to open it up. And now you want to set your view by to large icons and select the power options from this list. So whatever plan is currently selected or has a little circle inside of the bigger circle, you want to select change plan settings and then select change advanced power settings. You want to locate something that says switchable dynamic graphics on here. Since I'm not in a virtual environment, I can't actually show you guys that, but there should be an option here that says switchable dynamic graphics. You click the little plus sign next to that, and then underneath of that, there should be something that says global settings. You'd expand that, so click the little plus sign next to that. So it would be something that says on battery as well as plugged in. You want to set both of them to maximize performance. So just for example, if I were to click on one of these and then set something, let's just say USB settings in this example was switchable dynamic graphics, and then the second one that I just expanded was the global settings that I'm telling you guys to go under, there'd be an on battery and plugged in option. You want to set both of them to maximize performance. So you click inside of the hyperlink next to it and click the drop down and then select maximize performance for both of them. So again, on this screen, that we first went on to, you'd want to locate switchable dynamic graphics and then expand that. Same thing for global settings and then for the on battery and plugged in options, you want to set both of them to maximize performance. Once you are done with that, select OK. You close out of here, you would restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.